Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today I am doing something I've been meaning to do for ages. It's been on my docket to do for a long time and has been much requested. It's my top five Skyrim collector's homes. I'm starting here at Solstice Castle by Skyrim Laz. Basically you could choose any of his mods. They're all amazing. They're all fabulous. They're all different. Uh, this one's my particular favourite, I think. It's hard to say, to be honest. They're all so very very cool um, but this one's particularly gorgeous around the outside okay so I can't remember what I paid for this maybe it was 40k I think um, I've got videos by the way on each of the individual properties that I've chosen here um, some of them are pretty old videos by now the sound quality may not be very good <laughs> uh, but you know if you're interested then they're there this has storage for Mm, I don't know, I wouldn't like to say 100% of the items in the game because I don't think it is, but when you couple that with the fact that it's multiple adoption friendly, there's also followers quarters, it is exceedingly gorgeous inside and out. It's got a massive library building, uh, this one here, which is connected to the main property underground. Uh, and the storages here are remarkable. There's also a garden, a greenhouse... Oh, it's just lovely. Yeah, they're all beautiful, but I think this one might be... Might be my favourite. This entrance hall. Spectacular. Okay, let's have a quick look at some of the fabulous features that it's got. Okay, so most of the action is taking place underground and these rooms are amazing. As you can see, it's in the vanilla now, just so that you can see what the walls look like without any other mods installed. There are places for, oh my goodness, so many things. Certainly nearly everything that you would collect normally during the course of the game that isn't modded. There's so much space here. As well as for the special things, there's also a ton of mannequins, weapon racks, plaques, display cases. More than you'll ever need. You will spend your whole game filling this place up. The lighting, just this is just vanilla lighting. It's kind of dark and romantic down here. I don't know. You see what I mean? How huge? It's crazy big. But what a place. Dude, always in my way. <laughs> All right, I think that covers just about everything for Solstice Castle and how amazing it is. Um, I hope it's certainly something that you would enjoy. I love the color scheme. The red and the gold is very elegant. Um, let's move on to the next one, which I think we're going to go back to old Skyrim for this. Okay, we're now at Guardian's Overlook by Plimster, and this is for ye oldy Skyrim, which I know was still super popular, so I figured it would be a good idea to put this in, because it's one of my favourite homes. It's a no-low door, marvellous collector's home, really attractive little place. Look at that view over Lake Elenelta. Oh my goodness, we're just above the Guardian stones. So we have this low door-free cabin on the top with a trophy room below, it's got lots of little clickies like the window shutters, which are just so cool. There's also display points within this little cabin also. And by the way, this was um, done by the mod author that did Build Your Own Breeze Home that I was so enchanted by. And it's still one of my absolute favourite Skyrim overhauls of Breeze Home ever. I think it's a wonderful thing. So there's a lot to see here. There's there's a bunch of features that come with it in addition to the little house and the amazing trophy room downstairs. I'm sorry that the video is a little bit dark um, for the downstairs, but hopefully you'll be able to see how much of these wonderful artifacts, etc., that you'll be able to store in there. And it's in this little cupboard here. So cool. <laughs> maybe a bit small but then I'm a cat so for me it's fine there's also other features down here also as you can see there's a cooking pot etc um, and all sorts of little things that you can place um, all incorporated within the decoration which is just terrific I love that whole idea I've 
I wish that there was more of this sort of thing that was available. Um, but unfortunately, it's it's one of those things, isn't it, where people are sometimes like, oh, no, I don't need all this stuff. And But I, I'd rather have it than not, I think, you know. And this is a terrific feature, being able to uh, create banners on the loom, which you can also do in the Build Your Own Breeze Home as well, by the way. Very nifty, very clever. So, yeah, this is extensive, guys. It, it, the treasure chamber's got a space for every single artifact in Skyrim, um, including the DLC Dragonborn and Dawnguard, and a carpenter's table for constructing replica items, um, a massive library, and guard chambers for your followers. So, yeah, <laughs> I think it's amazing. As I say, there's a video for each one of these homes, um, so by all means, check that out. All right, let's move on to the next. All right, now we're at Texarium. What a wonderful home. It's a fairly old mod, originally uploaded in 2016. It's by Tony Crouch, and it's a wonderful thing. It's for AE, sorry, it's for SSE only. Um, you can't get it for AE because it clashes with one of the stupid homes that came with the AE, quote, upgrade, end of quote. Um, so if you've got AE, then this is c completely balked because it's it clashes with... I can't even remember which mediocre home it clashes with, but one of the free ones anyway. Um, so that's a great shame because this mod is amazing. It comes with this extra shop here, which is just totally cool. And the outside of the place is really super. I can't even tell you how great it is. So it's a, a, a Dwemer-based player home. It's near to Whiterun. And it's got auto sorting, auto load, which apparently it's a system that loads items from their containers to the crafting stations when you access them and then returns them back when you exit the crafting station. Absolutely genius. Uh, it's multiple adoption compatible, so you need Hearthfire multiple adoptions for it to work and use the Bless Home spell. And there's a followers area with 20 beds for them to sleep in. I mean, this is just, you know, I don't even know what to say about it. It's the most comprehensive, beautiful mod that it, it really has always stayed with me. Do you know what I mean? The interior is pretty much entirely static, so that's great. You, the, the lights go on and off during the day and night. The doors close automatically. Um, there's an appearance changing mirror, there's a mine, there's a workshop and an interior stable, uh, as well as the, you know, I mean, goodness, I don't even know what to say, really. The garden is, well, <laughs> look at it, it's amazing, and it's got irrigation, truly spectacular. Um, I, I just don't even know what to say about this home. Oh, by the way, there's also um, a, a, a junk disposal system inside. So you'll find garbage buckets uh, and a, a disposal chest. If you pull the lever, then it disappears. Awesome. As well as that out, beautiful outdoor pool inside. This is just a small section of the inside. And this footage comes from... A playthrough, I, God, I don't even know, maybe four playthroughs ago when I bothered to collect a, an absolute ton of armors, weapons from various different mods, you know, different outfits. And uh, so I ended up storing them here. I loved this place. It was a terrific place to, to you know, store all of your things and to be able to see them really nicely in a beautiful environment. I, th I thought it was terrific. Also, um, oh God, what was that mod called? I'll remember the name of it and I'll pop it up for you on the screen because that's where a lot of this armor and stuff came from. So don't say to me, oh God, where did that sword at, you know, eight minutes into the video come from? Because I won't know, honestly, at this distance in time where anything came from. <laughs> it was such a long time ago. Um, but one of the mods where I did get a lot of the gear that's shown off in here, um, I will, it, oh God, it was honest, it was a tree stump outside of Whiterun. I can't, I can't think why I can't remember the name of it, apart from, you know, creeping on set early dementia, maybe. <laughs> 
<laughs> Anyhow, so that's Texarium. Can't say enough wonderful things about it. Um, but let's move on to our next home. This is going to be number four. Now we're at the good old Elysium Estate, which everybody knows and loves. I still think this is probably the most popular house mod. No surprise, really. You're just outside of White Run in a terrific location. It is a beautiful home um, and dead easy to get as well. You know, tiny little quest that's not really anything to write home about. Super quick and easy. It's got loads, like dozens of customizable uh, aspects to it. And the outside is stunning. You can turn the fire on and off. I mean, really, you know. There's also chickens and things that you can buy. Look how beautiful. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here because I'm pretty sure that everybody has seen this. It's certainly one of those homes that I always have. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter how many playthroughs I have, how many homes I have. This one, I, invariably, I always have. So, as you can see, there's... Uh, places for all sorts N maybe not as many maybe not quite as comprehensive as say Texarium but you know what it I don't think it matters does it look how beautiful it's bright it's jolly it's just exquisite this place always been one of my favorite homes and I'm sure it will have been one of yours too oh actually let's go in the house just to remind you how stunning this place actually is and all of the things that you can do here I mean wow there's a whole ton you can lay the table you can have drinks on the table different kinds of meals kitchen is beautiful the quarters are beautiful you can change out the beds so nice included in the decoration throughout the actual main part of the home um, you can put your special things Secret panels, gotta love that. The only thing it doesn't have is like secret rooms and stuff, you know, passages and slidey bookcases or anything, but really, it's so, so pretty. Love. Oh, I don't even know. Anyway, so yeah, that's Elysium. I think that's, uh, you know, you know this one already. Okay, moving on to the very last one. These are in no particular order, by the way. Um, but obviously, I think you will know what this is going to be. Okay, we're at the Dragonborn Gallery. Obviously, this was going to be number one, simply because apart from anything else, you get amazing quests to do with this. So it's not just a, a, a collector's player home. There's so much more, I can't even tell you. Um, again, I'm sure it's one of those mods that everybody knows about already. If you're wondering why mine is looking very blue and all my architecture is completely different, I'll leave you the link for that. Uh, and yeah, let me just give you a quick look inside. Mine is completely empty at the moment. <laughs> I haven't even started it in this new playthrough. Um, I've got the quest from Orion and that's it so far. But look, you can see... That little brown bar up there, that indicates there's going to be a painting or something going in it. So yeah, not only do you get all of the normal things that you would find out and about during your adventuring, um, but you get places to put all of the things that you collect during the quests and that is given by this mod. And the actual surroundings, truly lovely, don't you think? Even without this overhaul mod in, installed, actually, it's, uh, it's pretty stunning. Oh, wow. Just wow. <laughs> Do you know what I love about it, I think, more than anything else, is that you feel so immersed in the world. Uh, it's truly spectacular. It's uh, a whole new game. There's such a ton of things to do. Just look at the library, those windows, everything. The mod authors, I just can't even thank them enough for, for this. I have a few separate um, videos showcasing different aspects of this mod because it's huge. Um, but yeah, look at this. Ooh, I don't know. So here are my top five picks. I hope you found them enjoyable. I hope that at least one of them has appealed to you. 
Oh my goodness, I'm going to leave you with that fantastic view. I mean, look at that. Call that the end of this video. Say thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon for the next. Take care and stay safe, everybody.